Hi, welcome to another video. I've already covered some cursor alternatives like ZAI, VS Code Cloud Dev, VS Code Aider, and a few others. All of those are great for people who want to get things done quickly. However, many people ask me what I personally use and what I recommend for others to use. So, I thought maybe I should share with you what I use and what I think most of you could benefit from. Plus, there have been several upgrades to the extensions I used in previous videos. This could serve as both a new setup and usage guide and help you ditch cursor forever. I don't use cursor at all. I installed it once, but as soon as I saw it, automatically configured itself as the default editor for all my files, I uninstalled it. I don't want proprietary forked software on my machine, and since it's a VS Code fork, I won't support something that doesn't align with my values. Anyway, let me tell you what I'll be using today. For the editor, I'll be using VS Code. Everyone generally prefers it. It's more intuitive, fully developed, and has the extensions we'll need for what we're about to do next. Now, I recently tried out Cursor's Composer feature, and it was much worse than Claude Dev. I didn't want to embarrass Claude Dev by comparing it to Cursor's subpar composer. So, for the composer-like feature, I'll be using Aider. Aider is significantly better than Cursor's composer. It supports all kinds of models, and its recent upgrades have made it incredibly cool to use. It's also much more reliable. So, we'll use Aider instead of Cursor's composer. In addition to that, I'm going to elevate things by adding Claude Dev to our setup. You may ask, why use both Claude Dev and Aider? Well, they're quite different. Claude Dev is more of an autonomous programmer, while Aider acts more like an autonomous co-pilot. Claude Dev aims to create a finished product by iteratively doing things, while Aider takes a more relaxed, iterative approach, almost like a co-pilot. Claude Dev helps when we want the AI to handle everything autonomously, while Aider is perfect for when we want to chat and make changes iteratively. I use them both in this way, so we'll do the same here. Along with that, I'll be using Supermaven as my co-pilot because I personally love it. I use it all the time, and it's super efficient. It's far better than Cursor's autocomplete and works incredibly fast. In addition, I'll also use Continue Dev for chat-related tasks and simple refactoring. Now that we've got everything sorted, Let's get started by installing everything and seeing how it performs. First, open up VS Code. Next, let's install SuperMaven because it's the easiest to set up. Just go to the Extensions tab, search for SuperMaven, and install it. Once it's installed, you'll see it in your sidebar, and it will prompt you to sign in. Simply create a free account and sign in. Once you've done that, SuperMaven will start working. It has a chat interface where you can set up your Anthropic or OpenAI API key, but I don't use that feature. Anyway, once you've signed in, the autocomplete will begin working. It's very effective, even capable of performing calculations, which is just incredible. I really enjoy using it. Next, we need something for chatting about code and doing some basic editing and refactoring. For that, I generally use Continue Dev. Let's configure it. To configure Continue Dev, just go to Extensions, search for Continue, and install it. Once installed, you'll see it in your sidebar. Open it up. Now, when you open it, you can configure it in various ways. I typically use it with the Gemini. 1.5 flash model because I only use it for simple chats and refactors. The flash model is sufficient for that, and it's also free for limited usage. It doesn't cost me a cent to use, but you can configure it with anything else if you prefer. To set it up, click 
Add Model and select the Gemini option. It will ask for your API key. You can get it for free by visiting Google's AI Studio and creating an API key there. Copy that API key and paste it here. Then select Gemini 1.5 Flash. Once you've done that, go to Config and change the model name to Gemini 1.5 Flash 2 because the version 2 models are better. After that, you can start using it. I mainly use it for simple code-related chats and refactoring, but it can also do what Cursor's Composer does. You can ask it to generate code, and it applies it easily, which is really useful and works well. You can also directly generate code within the file like Cursor by pressing Ctrl plus I and generating the code. This is super cool as well. You can also use it with other options like Cerebras, Sambanova, and others for free. You can see how to configure those in my other videos. Anyway, now that's done. But we also need a better composer feature than Cursor itself. To do that, we'll use Ader. Ader is a simple CLI tool that gives you a chat interface in your terminal. It allows you to give it a prompt, and it can make changes or create things from scratch as well. To use it, just open up the terminal in VS Code. Run the pip install ADER chat command, and it will install ADER. Once it's installed, we'll need to use it. Using it is quite easy. First, we need to figure out which model we want to use with it. You can use it with Olima, Anthropic, OpenAI, and others. I like using it with Anthropic, but you can also use it with Gemini or other free options. To configure these for free, check the video links I'll put in the description. To configure it with Anthropic, OpenAI, or Gemini, you'll need to set up the API key like this. Once that's done, you can start Ader with the model name in the operator. If you're using Anthropic, you can also use catched prompts. Once you've done that, it'll start up like this. Now, you can ask it to do anything in simple language, and it will do that. Or, you can use its modes, like Ask Mode for chatting, or Edit Mode for editing a specific file. Let's ask it to make a simple finance tracker app using HTML, CSS, and JS. If I send it over here, you'll see that it starts working. It will take a bit. Once it creates the code, it'll ask for your approval. Just approve it, and the files will be created. If you run it, it should work well. This is a great replacement for Cursor's Composer, and works even better. This is what you need to get a better alternative to Cursor, and you can use it for free as well. Apart from this, we're going to take it up a notch by using ClaudeDev. Configuring ClaudeDev is pretty easy. Just go to Extensions, search for ClaudeDev, and install it. Once installed, go to the ClaudeDev option, and you'll see the chat interface. First, we need to configure it with a model. To do that, click the Settings button, and you'll see all the model options. In the previous Cursor Alternative video I did, these options weren't available, and you had to use it with Claude only. But now, there are a bunch of options. I generally use it with Claude 3.5 Sonnet, but I also use it with Google Vertex AI since they offer $300 worth of free credits when you sign up, making it free for me to use. I'll create another video on how to set that up because it's a little complex, but you can also use it with the original Anthropic, and it would cost a lot less with prompt catching. You can also use Claude via open router. Apart from that, you can use Gemini for free as well. Today, I'll be using Anthropic directly. You can see the general pricing if you decide to use it. Let's set that up. Once that's done, you can start using it. 
Let's ask it to make a simple to-do app. Let's send it, and as you can see, it's working on it. If we wait a bit, you'll see that it generates the code and asks for your approval. Once I approve it, it can even give you the command to run the code. It can also inspect the site by taking screenshots and using console log data to find errors, which Cursor can't do. If we run it, it works really well. I mean, what else could you want? I recently created a whole app with Claude Dev without writing a single line of code, and I did it all for free, which was cool. You can also look at the full one hour long version of it as well by becoming a member. There are a bunch of other videos available as well. It just starts from $5 and also support the channel. Anyway, Claude Dev has also recently added features like referencing, which Cursor has. So, now it's even better, and it gets updates almost daily, which is insane. It's just amazing what you can do with open source tools these days. Yes, sometimes you need to be creative to use things for free, but the best part is that if you try hard enough, you can actually use it for free, which is great. Just look at Cursor's free version. It's unusable. Why do they even offer it? I think this is the best AI coding setup right now. It not only beats Cursor, but is actually state-of-the-art. Even if you use real credits, it'll still cost less than Cursor. I don't think anyone should support forked tools like Cursor. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.